Have you guys ever been out running around doing whatever other LARPers do in their free time and just come across something and you think, man, that'd be really cool to use at insert LARP game. Yeah, I had one of those moments today. And I gotta say, I'm really happy about it. Um, those of you that don't recognize the Nerf Long Strike, um, this is Nerf's new sniper rifle. It gets a whole whopping 35 feet. Fancy. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great looking blaster, and it's really comfortable in the shoulder. Like, I can see myself all weekend behind this gun with no problem. Um, and the pistol grip, like, really comfy. Like, here, let me try to. It's just really comfy to have it just in the just one-handed so yeah um for those of you that don't know there's a new LARP in Raleigh uh, called Destra that is run by a few of the or a couple from Shadowmore that and in Destria there is a class known as a ranger pretty common name yeah um, but they are effectively hunters from World of Warcraft, and they get to use, sorry, trying to move my mic further away from my camera so it doesn't peek, um, they get to use nerf guns, and what's awesome about that is, well, freaking nerf gun, I mean, it's... And LARP arrows are really expensive. Bows are really expensive. I mean, I went out and got this son of a bitch for 40 bucks. Um, I got two extra clips and a metric fuck ton of darts um, for an extra like 15 bucks. So I walked out of Toys R Us with a $60 bill, or with a $60 pay, uh, receipt, and was done. I mean, I've got an awesome looking blaster, and I've got more ammo than I do clips, which usually you're the opposite direction for that. Um, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, um, I plan on doing a lot of work to this gun, because it, aesthetically, it makes me happy. Performance, it aggravates me. Um, a little bit of background information about Wooden Samurai here for a second. Um, for those of you that don't know me personally, um, I want to be an engineering major in college. Um, which is pretty much graduate high school Saturday. What up? Um... Uh, Sorry. Uh, but the fact that, I don't know if you guys can see this, but here. All right, see how much space there is around the dart? Like, that's just wasted air pressure. And, like, here, for example. Aha. Another good example. If you look inside the gun right there. Um. This will work better. Um, 
right in in between this piece and the plunger system which is the one that goes back this way um there is a significant gap which is just lost air pressure like you can probably see it but yeah it just it's just bad engineering like I know that it's for kids safety but like 35 feet really nerf that's the best you can fucking do I I could do better with a bicycle pump it's a fucking PVC not gonna lie um but yeah enough ranting about nerf um for this gun I have a lot of cool ideas for it um I'm going to overhaul the whole thing basically I'm going to try to fix all of the nerf stupid things, which a lot of people before me have done. So, you know, there's a lot of other videos on there that are really good. Um, but when I'm done, this is probably going to be the part that y'all are more interested in. Um, it's going to get a complete repaint. Um, this will be repainted. The gun will be repainted. The extender will be repainted. This little part's probably going to be cut off. Yeah. This whole thing, if you're a little kid that's ended up on my channel because it's, it says Nerf, fucking garbage. Like, literally, I was shooting this thing in my backyard last time, or last night, or, it is, to, it is nighttime, I got this today. Um, I was shooting this in my backyard earlier, just shooting it flat, like, I, I know how to range test it for all the Nerf kids wasn't shooting it at an angle. Um, I lost yardage with a longer barrel. That makes, like, my inner gun enthusiast go, the fuck? I mean, but I really like this extra foresight, which holds back. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, sorry. Moment of learning this on side. No, it, this is a LARP video. I'm allowed to have all the moments of nerdiness I, I want. Um, but yeah, um, going to do a complete steampunk style to the gun. Um, primarily a gunmetal color or silver with brass accenting and darker silvers. Um, basic nerf mods to it. Um, for now, I might do some of the orange mod works stuff if I come into some extra cash, like maybe my graduation money. Uh, but with the orange mod works stuff is a heavier spring, new plunger system, new catch springs. Uh, I plan on doing a brass breech, and I plan on rebarreling it with a barrel that is, you know, proper barrel for these slugs. Don't get me started on our spreads. But what I plan on doing, just so that I can keep the aesthetics of the longer gun, because it makes me happy. Just the long gun. I like it. I feel that a gun with over three feet of stone um, should have a longer gun. So I'm going to extend out the barrel to about here and the brass barrel is going to start here at the breech and go out to there and then this orange piece is going to be cut off and then because this barrel is wider than 
this sparrow, I'm going to put a PET or a PETG Denwall PVC something inside of this so that this holds or the barrel for this is going to be just big enough for my brass barrel to slide through. But I'll still be able to take it off. Yeah, does that make sense to everybody? Sorry, just had a brainstorm. Um, but yeah, uh, and, oh, another thing, um, I have more darts than I do clips, so if any of you guys used to have Nerf guns, have younger siblings that have Nerf guns that have kind of grown out of that phase, and you just or just have these orange cliffs laying around and you'd be willing to do some kind of trade or want to sell them for like two bucks or something like that hit me up um, I need about two or three more uh, PM me leave a comment in the section below um, if you know like the proper sizes of barrels like uh, for the brass barrel that I would need and things like that. Um, comment section. Message me. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this one, guys. Um, subscribe, comment, like buttons over there. Yeah, like button. All right. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll be sure to keep you posted on this gun. Later.